Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn how to execute your Newman collection or the Postman API test cases that we have automated from Jenkins. Now, what exactly is Jenkins if you're not aware of? So Jenkins is a leading open source automation server which helps us with the CI CD or continuous integration, continuous deployment, right? Creating pipelines, etc. And it's open source, so it's free to use. There are many other CI servers as well. For example, there is one from Atlassian, which is Bamboo. Then there is other uh, many CI servers available in the market, right? But Jenkins is by far very popular and open source. So we will understand how you are going to run your Newman API or basically the API test cases that we were running with Newman or Postman CLI through Jenkins. Now, what is the advantage of this? Now, when we were running Newman commands, we were basically running those commands manually in the command line, right? Now, with the CI server, there is a lot of extra things that you can do, right? It's not just that basic running of the command. It is basically fetching the code from the gate. So we have already checked in the code of uh, the Postman into a git so we can create a job which will fetch in the code the json file and then execute that at a specific time whatever time you want to specify and then execution will complete through jenkins and the report can be generated right so that will all be done all at once right so this is the core reason why ci servers and ci cd is used so let's quickly go ahead and in this video let's install jenkins first so that we can go ahead and start learning. Now I have created a complete Jenkins series, right? So if you want to learn the exact or core details of Jenkins, I'll share that series. You can go ahead on the channel, just search for Jenkins tutorial and you'll get complete series on Jenkins that you can learn in detail. So I'll be installing Jenkins through the Windows installer. This is Windows machine. So I'll go to the download and you simply go ahead and download, right? So basically if you scroll down here, you will see that we have different options. So you, what you have to do is you have to simply go to the Windows option here and then it will basically start downloading, right? So you'll see Jenkins.msi started downloading. And once it's downloaded, then we will do the installation process, right? So let me pause it. I have already downloaded it. So I won't let me cancel it, right? So I do not want to download it again. Now, the other important thing is if we go back, what exactly are the requirements, right? When we say, when we are saying, you know, how to install Jenkins. So simply we'll go to this installing Jenkins and there are some prerequisites, right? So basically, if you'll see that Jenkins is typically run as a standalone application in its own process. Now, Jenkins war file bundle, bundles this and this um, uh, Winstone and a Jetty servlet container. So it can be basically started on any OS. All right. Now, what exactly we need to do in order to install Jenkins? There are some prerequisites and let's understand what we are going to do when we are installing it on Windows. So we'll click on Windows link here and prerequisite is that minimum you have to have 256 MB RAM, which is pretty standard. Most of you would be having it and the drive space. Obviously, you'll be having more than that. Uh, this is very low, I would say. I mean, most of the computers right now would be having a lot more than that. But this is the basic base requirement um, recommended hardware configuration. This is what the recommendation is. And then you need a Java. OK, so there is a Java requirement that you need. So if you click on this link, it will show you what is the minimum version of Java or JDK you need. So you go ahead and install JDK on your machine. I already have it, so I won't go into the detail of installing JDK. But you will see that Jenkins requires Java 11 or 17, right? So we have to make sure that Java 11 and above is there, so which I already have it. So I won't go ahead and install it. Then the web browser compatib compatibility and then the rest. So basically the core thing is about the Java requirement. And then the next thing is the setup process. During the setup process, I'll show you the next important thing, which is about the run service as local or domain user. Now, this particular article that you see here, there is a video as well, which should be, which is very, very detailed video or on how to install Jenkins on videos. Uh, you can watch this, but I'll make a little, this video completes the overall everything mostly about uh, the Jenkins and configuration. But for us, because we are installing only for the testing purpose and running our Postman collection. So I'll try to keep it a little simpler than what is being explained here. OK, but this video is very, very helpful if you are installing or uh, want to refer this particular video, I would highly recommend this video as well. OK, and the whole processes that are 
mentioned here so whatever is there is in their video this is this is all the article as well okay so let's quickly go ahead and start the installation process so before we go ahead and install the installation process so you'll see that this msi file is there you simply double click wherever this file is there and then select next all right so here you you'll see that default jenkins installation folder is selected i'll keep it as is or you can go ahead and change it right so i can say you know don't install it on a c program file jenkins just say c jenkins or something right so i can go ahead and change and say okay just move it to c drive and then say okay here i just want it in the jenkins folder all right so i just mentioned that and then hit next the next thing is that you will see that there are two logon options right now Jenkins installs and runs as an independent Windows service. To operate in this manner, you must supply user account credentials for this. So which user account credentials? The Windows user account credentials. And in order to do that, the, there is a first option, which is run service as a local system, which is not recommended, which is sort of giving Jenkins all the access to your computer. It's kind of a root access that will be given if you select this option, which that's why it says not recommended. It will give you root access to Jenkins to your system right the next is which is recommended option run service as a local or domain user now what you have to do in order to use or use this account and password first thing you have to do is you have to go to the windows system settings right so you'll say okay we'll say settings or control panel okay so you'll say control panel open the control panel and from the control panel you have to go to the administrative tools all right so once you go to the administrative tools you will see that we have a local security policy here all right so let's open local security policy and in here you will see we have the local policies expand local policies click on user rights assignment okay and then you will see that we have a logon as a service okay so double click on that and then you have to add the user which you want to use for example let me remove this user first okay so this is how say for example for you it is visible and you want to use a particular user for jenkins installation so simply click on add user or group search for the user that is there in your machine and simply click on check names it will check that particular username we'll simply say okay apply and okay. close everything now you can use that particular user as the user account so i'll simply say the username and the password okay and before you proceed further click on test credentials you will see if the credentials are passing it will give you a green tick that yes everything is fine with that particular user that you have added okay so i'll click on next now and then you can test the port by default jenkins will run on localhost colon 8080 so if this port is not occupied or used by any other application it should give you a green tick there okay if it is say for example you are getting some error you can change this port as well okay you can say okay i want to run on 8081 instead of 88 so you can change that as well okay you will see this is the range basically so i'll say test port which is fine 8080 and click on next right then you will see please select the path of the jdk right this is where this is why java or jdk is is required and you'll see that by default it has taken the location of the jdk that i have installed so if you have installed jdk or your jdk is on different location you can simply change it by selecting the folder okay i'll keep it as is and i have 11 which is basically supported you'll see that java 11 and 17 are supported right only java 11 and 17 so we'll simply say next because i have jdk there and then here what we'll do is we'll simply say we won't start it right so we'll say or let's say we'll we'll go ahead with the start service right so what it will do is it will basically start the jenkins service after installation right so what whichever service will get created so we'll keep it as is and then click on next and then simply go ahead and install. so you'll see that this installation wizard will start the installation process okay so do you want to allow i'll say yes okay so you'll see the setup is complete right we'll simply go ahead and click on finish and the setup is all done right now if we go to the services here so just say windows services and we see open the services we should be able to see the jenkins service in the list and that should have been started jenkins you will see that it is jenkins automation server 
and it is basically running and what is the username that is used to log on right this is the username that is the desktop username that i have specified during the setup process which is used to run right so you make sure that you refresh this list and ensure that the status is running for the jenkins server now once the installation is done how you can ensure that it is up and running basically so you can simply go ahead and launch the browser and then launch localhost colon 8080 because port that we have used is 88 so here we will simply type in localhost and then 8080 okay and you will see that we have the jenkins interface and then we need to get the administrator password and get started with the jenkins configuration okay so this is the installation part in the next video i'll show you how you can get this initial password admin password and we'll continue with the configuration of jenkins so that's all for this video on installation of jenkins with on your windows machine i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching